Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2021 as we continue our Journeyman Glory Hunter series with RB Leipzig in the Bundesliga. Today is our first official matches of our second season, and I'm excited to get this started because we got a lot of really good players, a fun formation, and uh, it's been a pretty good, pretty good transfer special last episode. Uh, lots of lots of goals coming in our friendlies, although not against the strongest teams in the world, but still lots of goals. So let's see if we can continue that uh, go running, go scoring, whatever you want to call it in the regular season. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are in our first official game, and I'm ready, excited. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, first game up is against Mines, a home game. Uh, the only injury we have at the moment is to uh, Soto, which is unfortunate. I would love to have played all of our main starters, but we're going to be okay. Danny Elmo comes into the, the spot, and Mauricio moves over, and we're going to be just fine. We are playing this 4-3-3 narrow. Like I said, we've been scoring tons of goals in the friendlies, but we'll see if that actually translates to a real team here against Mines. Uh, let's get in here and roll. I mean, Johnson has already got this wonderful partnership together. I love seeing that. Love seeing that. We'll see if Allen can kind of slide right into that 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 trio of of, of uh, awesomeness for us. I've seen some good things from him already, um, so we'll see. We'll see what he can do. I can't believe I've got three ridiculous strikers. I mean, it's it's insane. It's insane. I couldn't sell them. I couldn't. I, I should have. As soon as I got Allen for as good a price as I did, I should have just flipped Johnson or Hasnut for a huge amount of money, got some other players. But I feel like we still got a good team without having to sell them. And so that's why I was like, nope, I'm not touching it. Uh, you know, I just realized I didn't set up my free kicks and corner kicks and stuff like that, people, uh, with the new team. So we'll have to go look at that here in just a bit. Oh, Hit somebody's hand. Penalty review. It's a penalty. Who's taking the penalty? It should be uh, Hasnut, right? Oh, no, it's Danny Omo. Oh, because I didn't set my, my, my penalty shots. Because he is listed as the best penalty shooter, but combination of penalty shooting, sh completion, and finishing, uh, I think Hasnut is slightly better on, on all of those together. Uh, but still, I'm picking up a good goal here. I will take it. I mean, we know he can score goals and penalty shots. I have no concern about that. I just think Hasnut's a slight better uptick there. Looks like the audience sound is a little higher than I normally have it. So we'll jump that down just a smidge. Although they're just really, really excited, which may be all it is. Eric pushes the ball up to Baron. Baron is going to get it over to Mauricio. Mauricio got a guy in his face. Gets it up to Allen, though. Allen back to Mauricio. Up to Johnson on the right-hand side. Is he going to have some help in the middle? He is going to have nobody. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get deflected back to Wrench. Over to Olmo. Up to Allen. Allen now. Allen does have some guys in the middle there, but he's not. He's going to go back to Mariso. Back over to Wrench. Back to Mariso. Back to Wrench. Across to Baron is there. Uh, not really good passing there. Thankfully, we're still in the control at the moment. Olmo's going to get over to Baron on the left-hand side. What's Baron going to do? Get over to Hasnu. Over to Mariso. Mariso's going to try to go for a goal. I think. I think that got him deflected a little bit, though. Maybe. It was hard to look like it kind of took a weird path. Danny Elmo taking a corner kick here. Eric, oh, he should have scored that one. That was a good play by the goalkeeper, though. We'll give him credit where credit is due. Come on, guys. Right. Alader up to Kashiev. Baron with the ball. Hits it up to Johnson. Back to Olmo. Over to Baron on the left-hand side. Come on, buddy. Kashiev. Back to Baron. Back to Kashiev. Inside the... Oh, oh, offsides. I mean, he missed it anyway, but Johnson was decent spot, but just a little bit offsides. Come on, guys. Getting the season off to a, a roaring start would be so helpful. Wrench with the ball over here on the right-hand side. Just realized... Uh, yeah, never mind. Kashiev with the ball over to Baron. I was going to say Dario's D D D D not playing in this one, but uh, that's fine. Wrench is fully capable over there as well. Kashiev across to Allen is there with the goal. Excellent work from Allen. Um, yeah, I mean, it's good play from the, the youngster. I mean, they're all youngsters. I mean, Hasnut's our oldest at, what, 24, 25? Johnson's at 22, 23, and then Allen's at 21, I think. 
So, I mean, they're all fairly young, to be fair. But our youngest of our young strikers, Mr. Allen there, picking up an excellent score. Come on, guys. All right, corner kick coming in from Olmo. Inside, Eric is there. This time he gets it. This time he gets it. He does. Missed it the first time. Oh, I say missed it. He, the goalkeeper made an excellent play on the first one. This time he puts it almost the exact same spot and definitely scores on this one this time. Good play from Eric. There we go. There we go. All right, another corner kick coming from Olmo. Eric's going to be in the same spot again. <laughs> he gets another one. Eric, I mean, that's three that he's had perfectly on target. The goalkeeper's only been able to save one of those. He could have had a a uh, head, uh, head, head, what am I trying to say? A header hat trick is what I'm trying to say. I was trying to get the double H in there. Header hat trick. Mm. All right, throwing here for Mines. Oh, Olmo got his foot on that one. Has gets it over to Allen. Allen's going to get past the defenders. It's just him and the goalkeeper. And, oh, nothing going there, unfortunately. Johnson's been a little bit quiet in this game, but honestly, that's okay. I mean, it's you got to imagine. <laughs> that does get the hat trick. The Eric hat trick. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? What is going on? Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. It's literally the exact same, exact same play four times in a row, three times it worked. I mean, that is outstanding. All right. Well, um, guys, I mean, I don't think mine's is like the most amazing team either, but we're getting off to a pretty decent start. Mauricio kicking the ball up to Kashiev. Kashiev going to have a chance to get it inside to Hasnuts there. Oh, a little bit off target there. That's okay. Olmo up to Johnson. Johnson over to Hasnut. Hasnut gets it to Allen. Gets past the defense. It's just oh, perfect. So perfect. And I mean, you got to give some credit to Hasnut for that one too. It was a great assist from Hasnut. But Allen proving that he belongs in this striker team. Just playing outstanding. These three strikers. What do you do? Who do you stop? I mean, you can't like, I don't know. Like, what do you do? You try to cover uh, Johnson, Hazard's going to have it, or Allen. I mean, just there's no way you can stop all three of these guys. I mean, we're going to lose some games this season, I'm sure, at some point. And we're going to see some teams find a way to stop these guys. But it's got to be a hard task to stop all three of those guys. They're all so incredibly skilled. All right, 60-minute mark. Anybody? Yeah, get a couple of guys get a little tired. Definitely want to keep our guys fresh this season. Um, Danny Omo on a 9.0. Goodness gracious. And we almost sold him. I'm glad we kept him. I mean, not an, on purpose necessarily because I tried to sell him, but I am glad he stuck around because I think he's going to be a great uh, bit of experience to this team, for, especially for a lot of these younger guys. Um, honestly, I'm going to sit him. I'm going to bring Adams on. Give another one of our experienced guys some game time here. Right, throwing in coming in from I think it's Adams actually throwing throw-ins. No, it's Eric. Sorry. Eric with the throw in. Allen is there. Oh, Kashiev. Oh, but uh, uh, bounced around a little bit. I think Alec just got his hat trick. No, it's gonna be offsides. I thought it was. It bounced around a little bit, and then I thought Allen might have been offside. That's unfortunate. Would have loved to see his hat trick there. His first first official real game in the league. Getting a hat trick would have been amazing. Goal disallowed. Johnson, by the way, is slated to be the pick for uh Top goal scorer in the league this season, but uh, Hasnut is a close second. Uh, Allen was not in the top, I think, what are they show like six or seven, something like that. But obviously, he's getting off to a roaring start already here. Okay. Um, who do we want to swap out now? Honestly, Eric on his hat trick. We could probably sub him out, I suppose. Eh, no, let's get him out of here. Let's bring Theodario and He can play in the center. That should be fine. We can even give him a little bit of a team talk. Everybody's complacent right now. It's not good. Or maybe I should have slubbed off Alader actually because of his yellow card I just saw. Come on, guys. 
Oh, no, no. Don't give up. Uh, don't give up the goose egg here, guys. We've played way too well. Fusilin deserves the clean sheet here, guys. Oh, don't don't give him this. Come on. Play better than this. I mean, I realize it's basically irrelevant, but because obviously we're, <laughs> we're winning the game. But um, and it's also giving us plenty of gold, gold diff. But, you know, you guys got to see something here. Okay, we're going to say, I'm going to praise everybody. I don't get a whole lot of option to praise people. Sometimes I, I worry about it because it might cause them to be a little bit complacent. But again, we're not losing a 6 nothing lead. Oh, there's Baron getting a bit tired. We'll bring Fabi in here. And and a little a little encouragement and go from there. And there we go. That's how you do that, guys. That's how you do that. Oh my. Um Well, who'd have thunk bringing on a striker as good as our other two strikers would have worked out as well as it did. I mean, I mean, we're the only team that's played, so gold diff is a bit irrelevant, but oh my, that was impressive. Um, let's see here. Let me just praise a couple guys on their training and criticize Mr. Abraham over here. Better get better. Ericsson's RB Leipzig top. Well, of course we sent us top. We're the only team that's played. That doesn't count for nothing. Fabi, did he, uh, he came up from our youth system, didn't he? Or does he, the, oh, he's the guy I brought in. I'm sorry, isn't he? Wait a minute. Why do I not remember the name? Oh, wrong button. Oh, no. You know, I didn't remember their name because I put him on the left, but he's, he is the guy that came in for center. Okay, no, that's that's fine. That's good to have him come in and, and get a little bit of an appearance there. Um, yeah, absolutely excellent performance from Eric here. And we'll be right back for game number two against Hoffenheim, which we did beat one nothing in our friendlies. Take that for what you will. But this will be an away game against Hoffenheim. Just a moment. All right, we are back for our game against Hoffenheim here. Uh, I think it's the exact same team that we took in last game. Uslan and Go, Baron on the left, Eric Allader in the middle, Brinch on the right-hand side, Kashev, Olmo, and Mariso in the midfield, Hasnut, Johnson, and Allen up front. Soto's still injured, uh, nine days to three weeks now. So, again, hopefully we get him back soon-ish. But until then, I think Danny Olmo is playing just fine. <laughs> Don't think we're suffering too much without Soto, although I, we are, I believe, a better team with Soto because I think he's a better player. But... I think we're just fine also without him to be fair at the moment. All right. So let's go ahead and get this going, guys. Let's 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 pick up where we left off exactly what I just said and take it to this team and uh show them what three strikers looks like. Ooh, they've kept us silent for the first 15 minutes. That's that's different. Oh, they've actually the only ones that've gotten any shots so far. Come on, come on, Leipzig, let's go. Come on, second game in. We've already found somebody who can stop our three strikers. Um, I may not be that necessarily. I may just be just kind of getting in the mood of things. Plus, I mean, it is an away game, so we expect them to play a bit better. But they're playing pretty good. I'll give them that. Ooh, uh, looks like we got a tight hamstring on Baron. We definitely need to get him out of there. Um, actually, let me see. I'll sort this out. Who do we want to bring on for Baron? Uh, probably. I mean, probably will be Davis. Actually, All right, that is half time. But that's okay. Come on, guys. I would say I'm not happy with that performance. I think they can play better than that. I mean, I know they can play better than that. We've seen them play crazy lights out this whole season. Well, um, actually, Johnson playing pretty poorly right this second. That is a bit surprising, but he's motivated at the moment, so I'm not going to sub him out. I don't really know if I want to sub Eric out either, to be honest, but... On a yellow card. We definitely don't want to give up anything on the defensive side right now. Get him off because of his yellow card. That way, the Dario can be a little bit more aggressive, hopefully. All right, we got to throw in coming in for Wrench. Wrench gets it to nobody. Come on, guys. Let's get a good defense here. 
I mean, Hoffenheim has really been taking it to us. Oh, here we go, right here. They're gonna get us. Oh, oh, excellent slide there. But are they gonna get another chance here? They are gonna get another chance here. Come on, guys. Let's get a good takeaway here. Okay, gonna be a corner kick coming in. Oh, over the bar. That was close. That was a bit close. All right, Carter kick coming in from Hasnut. Gets it across. Dario's there. Mar uh, Mauricio. Oh, for us. Oh, no, give it up. No. No. Stop it. Stop it. Goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I believe the refs saw that. I mean, they did have to go to VAR, so to be fair, I guess they saw it in the VAR, but that was a little close, guys. Come on now. Uh, we'll do one more final sub here. Looks like Cassia pretty tired. We'll bring Adams on for him. Come on, Adams. We need we need somebody to give us a little bit of spark here. A little bit of a spark. I'm going to demand more from the boys. Apparently, we have found somebody that can slow down our three strikers. They are completely shut down today. Oh, well. About to get a last-minute highlight for... Oh, I thought we were going to get a last-minute highlight for Hoffenheim, but no. Full-time draw. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, we played fairly aggressively there, and we did have enough XG to get a goal, and I feel like we should have gotten one. But what were the overall chances created? We had one clear-cut chance, two half chances. I, I definitely think we should have gotten the goal. Um, but, you know, is what it is. I will definitely say I am not happy with the performance out there. We definitely should be playing better than that. I mean, the league doesn't matter, to be fair. But we play like that in a cup game or the Champions League. And we are going to be uh, going to penalties or something like that. And who knows what happens there. So, I'm not concerned at all at the moment. It is a bit funny, too. See somebody stop our three strikers, you know, a minute after I told them who can stop our three strikers. But I don't think that's going to happen too often this season, to be fair. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see here. Next game you guys are going to see is I'm going to try and feature uh, cup games. Um, by the way, we play Bayer 04 here. Um, so we're going to be featuring cup games and Champions League games. So I, I don't remember where the Champions League. Uh, we have the draw coming up, don't we? All right, I'll be right back. We're going to see the Champions Cup draw uh, and see where that kind of plays out. And then we'll, we'll end the episode there. I'll just put a quick pause. All right, we're back for the European Champions Cup uh, draw for the group stage here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and go through these. We've got Man United. Uh, can we not be in that group, please? SLB. Uh, we might be in that group. Z uh, Zebra here. I'd probably be okay with that group as well. Ah, there we go. Group D. We're actually on our own over here in Group D. Are these the... Do they just set, uh, put out the, uh, the the champions in each of these, I'm guessing, maybe? Let's see, where's the... What am I looking for? Yeah, okay, so else will be there. Okay, so I'm guessing Man United won theirs. Go look at England here. Yep, yeah, okay. So that's all they did. They just, they just put the champions uh, across, which makes sense. So we'll go ahead and draw all these teams real quick. And then let's see who we get next. So we're going to see here. And hey, we're not playing Borussia Dortmund, so that's good, I suppose. Milan. I think I like our chances against Milan. Uh, they ended up last season in third place in Italy. And I would say that I think we could be a better team than them. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I think we can win that one. Uh, let's see who we got next. Um, I don't know. I'm going to get somebody from France. Oh, Ukraine. Dynamo Ky Kiev could be an interesting team to go up against here. Um, we don't have any history loaded for them at the moment, but we do know that those that's a pretty good team historically. And then finally, uh, I don't know what's next. I'm trying to think of outside, outside the box here. I'm not sure. Oh, Red Star. Okay. Uh, we saw them pop up because don't we have a player coming from them right now? I think we have a player that came from them. Oh um, yeah. All right. So 
I mean, the toughest team in this setup is going to be Milan, I believe. And I think I like our chances against Milan. So I think we get out of the group stage either either way, because I think that we, um, I think we're going to get either first or second. Um, but I actually think we get out of this group stage as the champions here. I mean, look at this. Man United, Atletico Madrid, OM. I mean, OM, we know that they've been good in the past because we played, you used them, but uh, I don't know. Anybody other teams here? I mean, SLB, Real Madrid, probably pretty decent setup there. Barcelona and Lazio could be decent. Uh, Chelsea Ajax could be okay. Um, Man City FC Bayern. Oh, that's going to be a tough one right there. That's a good matchup. Paris SG Inter. I mean, Dynamo Moscow, probably not quite in that league, but we, you know, that's the, that is the best team in Russia right now. So it's not a nothing team to be fair. But no, I'm liking this. I think we're going to be good getting out of the group stage. We'll see what happens after that. But the next game you guys are going to see, let's see where does that put us on the schedule. Or they're not extra scheduled. Uh, let's let's see if it will schedule them here in just a second. Ready to face Milan. Now we got some guys staying in form in Spain. All right, there we go. Okay, so yeah, th th that's what I mean. That's what I was thinking. I figured there had to be a game coming up here in the next month. So we are definitely going to be showing the Milan game. Uh, that is a for sure because we want to feature the uh, Champions Cup games. And then we might as well show Borussia Dortmund here because uh, we obviously know how good they were last season. So we'll play these two games this uh, this next episode and then we'll figure it out from there. Uh, probably the episode after that probably be something like, we'll probably skip the Dynamo Kiev and just do the Red Star buyer game or, some, or something to that degree. And we'll kind of go from there. But uh, definitely expect Milan and Borussia Dortmund in the next episode. And I hope we get things off to a really, really good start. I mean, six goals in our first two games. If you told me that at the beginning of the season, I would be like, oh, that's awesome. Now, the draw here is obviously a little bit unfortunate, but we'll see if that was just a, a fluke or if that is we just been getting lucky with the formation so far. We don't know. We'll find out. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.